As I mentioned, I'm a third generation Broadway theater ticket broker. My grandfather started a newsstand in 1927. For about 30 years, he perfected the art of hand-to-hand -hand hospitality. That's welcoming people to New York City in hotels like this and uh, helping them to make sure that they maximize their time and their experience. For that, he charged a small fee and he made a pretty good living. He did it in a highly regulated marketplace, laws that were on the books from the 1920s in regard to boxing at Madison Square Garden. Believe it or not, that boxing used to be bigger than wrestling. I mean, can you imagine such a thing now? I really can't find boxing on my, on my boards. In the 50s, 60s, and 70s, my dad and his brothers perfected the art of international relations, global partnerships with major airlines, tour operators, hotel chains, etc. And what we did is we went out and we designed marketing campaigns, quite often with partners, like I look around this room and I see a lot of ticket brokers. Partnerships were within industry partnerships within New York City. Uh, a, a economic development team got together and decided they wanted to come up with a marketing campaign for New York to kind of put it on the map and make sure that that international air travel that was reaching the far corners of the world had an identifier, a destination, something that everybody could stand behind that said, we are a unified front providing a unified service to a, a population. That campaign is I Love New York. And to this day, 35 years later, it is considered one of the most identifiable, maybe Apple is a slightly better, or, or maybe it's surpassed it at this point, but an identifier of a marketing brand. 